This video is brought to you by EA Creator Network. Thanks to EA for inviting me to this early access event. Hello guys, this is Only Abidoang and today I'm going to be showcasing on the entire horse creation and customization process of the newest expansion pack to The Sims 4, Horse Ranch. Yep, horses are finally in The Sims 4 and as I said in the beginning, I got to try out the early version of the pack. Oh, and please don't mind my channel name that's jumping around on the video. It's just how early access game works and I can't do anything about that. Anyway, let's get started. To start making a horse, when in create a sim, you need to click on this button right here and then choose add pet. And then choose add horse. There you go, and there's our gal. Now if you click here, you can set whether you want to make a male or female horse. You can also set their age from foal, adult, and elder. And yeah, in this pack, you can create a foal straight from create a sim now. Let's go back to adult horse for now. You can also set their voice pitch, and for now, there are only one type of horse voice you can use. If there's another horse in the household, you can edit the horse's household relationship too. For the traits, there are 11 horse traits to choose from, which are aggressive, brave, deviant, energetic, fearful, free spirit, friendly, independent, intelligent, mellow, and needy. I won't be covering on what these traits do in the game at the moment, but I will talk about them in the next video where I talk about horses in live mode. Oh yeah, we forgot to give this horse a name. You can set your horse's first name and their optional last name. Okay, your name will be Brandy Roscoe. I'm just making up a name that passed my mind at this point. And your traits are aggressive, independent, and intelligent. And while you're editing a horse, you can also command them to lay down on their back like this. Aww, look at her, such a cutie. She's really begging for a belly rub there. Okay, let's stand her up again. And now we go straight to horse's physical customization. First, we start with horse breeds. There are a total of 35 breeds you can choose here, and it covers various breeds, ranging from slimmer horse like Arabian, for example, to heavy draft horse like Clydesdale. And for every breed, there's only one swatch you can pick. Additionally, you can also mix two different breeds you want to choose. Let's make this Andalusian horse to Anglo-Arabian horse for this example. There you go. Oh, and you can also randomize your current mixed breed if you want for a different kind of combination. Once you've created your custom breed, feel free to name this new breed if you want. Let's name this one um, Oreo. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm so smart. Alright, let's go back to exploring body customization here, and I'm gonna go with the Mustang here as a demonstration. There are 7 body shape presets that you can pick here, and you can also edit the hooves here. Well, for now, there is only one type of hooves, but it has 5 different color variations to choose from. If you don't want to pick body presets, you can always edit them manually as usual. Here are the sliders for the horse muscle definition, and also their body fat, which you can set yourself as you wish. And you can drag around the horse body parts with the cursor, like how you would when editing sims. From their head, their neck, the beaviness of the body, uh, their legs, and their hooves as well. Now while we're at it, let's take a closer look at the horse's head customization. First is the horse's head shape. There are several presets that you can pick here if you want. Next is their ears, with 5 available presets. Then you can also edit their muzzle or the area around their nose with 6 different presets. There are also different patterns of muzzles to choose from. I'm gonna pick this 2 tone patch muzzle. Then we get to their eyes with 3 presets. Of course, you can also change the eye color, but to be honest, the color change is pretty subtle and I don't really notice it. Oh, and yeah, there's also a horn category here, surprisingly, where a horse can have one type of horn, but this horn have many swatches to choose from. Equipping this horn makes them sparkle and have this magical aura around them, but trust me, this is all just for aesthetics. Unfortunately, there is no unicorn occult with magical abilities or something like that in this pack. What a bummer. The horn looks cool though. Of course, like before, you can also edit each part of their head manually with the model dragging feature. Starting from their ears, and then the head shape, the eye size, the area around their nose and mouth, the shape of their neck, and the jaw shape. 
You can also go into the detail edit mode to edit some of the smaller features of their head. You can edit things like the angle of the point of their ears if you want to make it pointy, the forehead area, the eyes height, the area below the mouth, the shape of their nose bridge, the shape of their nostrils, the upper mouth, the lower mouth, and I think that's it. Alright, that's it for their head customization. Now let's get back to this whole view of them and let's find out about their hair category as well. So the first thing that you can edit is the horse's mane, which is a pretty important part of their appearance. There are 7 different mane styles that you can pick here, ranging from short and stubby mane to the longer and looser mane as well. You can also go maneless if you want, and surprisingly enough, they also have a vast variety of different color, maybe around 36 of them to choose from. Also, manes aren't the only hair that you can change, because now you can customize their forelock area, or like this hair tuft right on top of their head. Like the manes, there are 7 different styles of them and I think they also follow similar style to the mane. They also have many different color and now you can also change whether their color will match to their mane or not which can result in some interesting combinations. Next are their tails. There are 4 types of them here, one straight, one braided, one covered with this tail wrap, and one wavy. Like the forelocks, you can also change their color and they don't have to follow the original color of the mane. Then you can also edit the feathers, which is like the hair around their hooves. There are three styles of them, long, medium, and no feathers, and you can also pick their color like before. And finally, you can also change the horse's coat thickness. This one kinda changed like the texture of their fur, where one coat is smoother while the other is fuzzier. So there's that for horse's hair customization. Right after that, we get to customizing their coat and color patterns. Here you can pick from a wide array of different types of coat patterns, ranging from the natural ones like how you'd expect on a regular horse, and also some unusual ones like this skeleton horse for example, or this rainbow colored horse that kinda reminds me of one of my favorite ice creams when I was a little, this pink one with sparkles on their fur, or also this other one. Yeah, I kinda dig the color palette for this coat here. Additionally, you can also customize each of their patterns color with 36 different colors to choose from. Each individual element of the coats can be recolored to your heart's content. You know what? What if I reverse the skeleton horse color? Whoa, he's even more menacing. So yeah, their coats are very customizable, but we haven't even gotten to the best part yet. If you've customized cats and dogs in this game before, you may already know what I'm talking about. But before going there, let's take a look at the horses' outfits. So horses have two different outfit category, everyday and riding outfit. For their accessories, first there are two types of horse blankets, one plain colored and one with these unique patterns in the form of 20 different color swatches. They can also wear this cool little cowboy hat as well, whoa this horse means business now, or this flower crown with different colors that you can choose as well. There's also tail accessories, which includes this tail ribbon or this flower as well. And finally, you can also choose, uh, is it their stockings, leggings, socks, I don't know, I think it's like socks for horses. It also has tons of swatches to choose from, like this fiery looking one that makes them look like a Guy Fieri fan. Now let's take a look at their riding accessories, starting with saddles. There are three different style of saddles to choose from. Like this leathery looking one which looks more traditional, this modern looking one that has a simpler style, and this other one that looks more complicated and has more bags but still looks cool. And then you can also choose their bridle with two different models. Each of them also has their own swatches as well, and I think we've covered all of the horse accessories that they can wear. And finally we get to the last part of create a horse, and it's certainly not the least, the paint mode. As I said before, this is also a thing when you're creating cats and dogs and let me tell you, it's one of the most powerful customization tool in this game where the horse is your canvas. And I mean it quite literally. First of all, there are color wheels here, complete with all the color spectrums, shade and opacity. The colors you pick can then be applied into the brush you're going to use. There are various types of brush shape to choose here and you can modify its size and also the rotation as well. And once you've done that, 
just go to the horse and start painting. Yes, you can draw anything you want anywhere on the horse, but since I can't really paint nor draw, I'm just gonna write a random word and doodle around here. Oh, and be aware that by default, the mirror painting mode is on, so anything you draw on the one side will be inverted on the other. So be sure to click on this icon again to turn it off so that won't happen. There's also the eraser tool to erase what you've just painted, and the eyedropper tool to copy a certain color on the horse's body. Besides brushes, you can also use stamps as well. There are even more variations of stamps that you can pick, and you can also modify its size and rotation. There are also a handful of unnatural looking stamp shapes like flowers, stars, hearts, fish, water drops, leaves, crabs for some reason, jellyfish, thunder clouds, plum bobs, palm marks, and even kiss marks as well. I also forgot to mention this fill color option where the entire body of your horse will be filled with the selected color immediately. Oh crap, my masterpiece is gone. Let me just undo that real quick. Anyway, the fill color tool is best used on this next part of the paint mode, which are stencils. There are some pattern selections of them, and it can be used to mask a certain pattern to the horse's entire body, which is why I said that the fill mode works better here because it immediately fills in the unmasked area so you can get the desired look. You can also create multiple layers of stencils if you want. And I think that's it for the paint mode. If you want to reset the whole paint that you've created, you can choose the reset button here, but nah, I can't let this masterpiece I've just created go to waste. Additionally, like Sims, there's also the option to randomize the horse's appearance if you're too lazy to create one from the ground up. Oh yeah, I also want to showcase about foal customization a bit. Like adult horses, you can choose their breeds and use the dragging model thing on them to edit their body shape, but there's no option to edit their muscle and body fat. For their head shape, there's only one preset for each of the head shape and parts of them, but as always, you can manually modify it. They can also have horns too, but they will only be able to have this little stubby horn instead. There are two body presets for them and you can change their hooves color as well. And for hairs, they only have two options for manes and forelocks, and one option for the tail, but the color option is still the same. You can also edit their coat color and patterns as well like before. Foals only have the everyday category outfit since they can't be mounted and they can only wear one of these two horse blankets and nothing else. Besides that, the paint mode is all the same. Foals can have three personality traits from the start and all adult traits are accessible to them too. One more tool I'd like to talk is the genetics feature which is similar to Sims. You can create a relative for one or two existing horses in the household, whether it be child, sibling, or parent with their genetics in mind. Once made, there's also the option to randomize it again if you don't like the current look of them. So I think that wraps it up on horse creation and customization in Create a Sim. For the next video, I'm gonna talk about all you need to know about horses in this pack and all its gameplay features. It's a pretty long and detailed one, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much guys for watching this video, feel free to leave a comment down below on what you think of horses in Creative Sim in this game, and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't for more Sims videos like this, and once again, thanks to EA for providing an early access code to the game. That's all from me and see you later!